Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to our God, our power, the God of Israel, our Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, my Shaq Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, the Howard Kakudash, double honor to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, GMS. Shalom to my fellow laborers out there on the highways and the byways, pushing videos out edifying the sheep, preaching the gospel to the elect. Right, Shalom to you believers, you brothers and sisters that subscribe to the doctrine. May the Heavenly Father continue to bless you, have mercy upon you, and give what you need for salvation. Should Brother Pariah come back at you with another lesson. Lord willing, it be filling, edifying in the spirit. All right, and um, it's entitled uh, Colossians chapter uh, 3, verse 1 through 4. Right, and uh, I'm going to read it all the way through and then uh, expound upon it. So it says, if ye, been, if ye then be risen with Hamashiach, the anointed, seek those things which are above. Where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Most High, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with, uh, with Hamashiach in the Most High. When the anointed, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. All right, so, yeah, man, uh, Colossians 3, 1. I'm going to just read it back, uh, back through again and, uh, you know, just speak on it. It says, if ye then be, uh, if ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. All right, this is the generation, you know, um, of the true Christians, all right, the anointed ones, aka the believers of Yahweh Shah, not those who conform to the religion of Christianity, but the Israelites from the northern and southern kingdom that had faith in him, you know, 2,000 years ago. You know, they woken back up now in these last days. You know, as it's written, the truth shall return of them that practice in her in Sirach, God, 27 and 9. So we have been risen with Hamashiach in this uh in these latter days, man, in this lifetime, in this generation. Alright, uh, I'm just grab a precept on that. This uh St. John 6 and 39. And this is the Father's will which have sent me. This this is Yahweh Shah speaking. Who the word even calls JC. Uh that of all which he have given me, which is the elect remedy. I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. Verse 40, and this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him, meaning have faith, may have everlasting life, which is immortality. And I will raise him up at the last day. So if you've been raised up, you know, through the Holy Spirit and given the knowledge of his truth, seek the things of the Father and his only begotten Son, which is the only thing that really matters at the end of the day. He don't seek the wisdom, not your understanding, the things of the spirit, all right, of the heavens. All right, this uh, verse two: set your affections on things above, not on things of the earth. So our love, care, you know, and devotion is supposed to be on the things of the spirit, because this present age and everything again that people lust, you know, covet after, desire, you know, in this life will all soon pass away, right? You know, the fashion of this world passed away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the Lord the Most High abide forever. And that's in 1 John 2 and 17 And also 1 Corinthians 7 and 31 Alright verse 3 in Colossians uh, Colossians 3 and 3 For ye are dead and your life is hid With Hamashiach in the Most High So we dead to this world man You know, uh, We dead to these ungodly people in it You know Why? Because Yahweh Shai have chosen us out of the world And the world hate us man And we no longer live The rest of our time in the flesh To the lust of men you know, But to the, the, the will of the Most High as it states in first Peter 4. You know, but uh I think it's around the this I think it's the second verse. Yeah, I think it's the second verse. So the Lord put us on a different path, man. You know, a path for humility and lowliness, you know, that leads to glory, immortality, and greatness. You know. Right now we humble, you know, but in due time he will exalt his men. But yeah, man, we dead to this world, you know, and our lives are hid. Hamashiach and verse 4 when Hamashiach who was our life shall appear all right at his second return when he come with uh, when he invade earth with his chariots it says then shall ye also appear with him in glory all right so when our Lord Yahweh shall invade the earth you know um with the, with the armies of heaven you know uh with the uh the order of Melchizedek Melchizedek how you want to pronounce it the angels all right, they're going they coming on uh, uh, so-called spaceships or so-called UFOs or UAPs. They are biblically known as the chariots of the Most High. All right, when the Lord invade the earth, 
the bodies of the elect men of the remnant will be transformed. Also, you know, the men, women, and children of the elect, you know, um, but not all of Israel, just the one third. You know, we're going we to get transformed. Lord willing, be the men, we're going to get transformed into celestial bodies that you have a shine the angels have, you know. Um, let's go to 1 John 3 and 1 real quick. It says, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, all right, that we should be called the sons of the Most High. All right, he uh, uh, bestowed this love, this truth, this wisdom, all right, by waking us up, by giving us the Holy Spirit. That's that's real love, man. That's mercy. You know, the Lord bestowed that upon his men. It says that, uh, what well, a remnant of his men, that we should be called the sons of the Most High, therefore the world knoweth us not. That's how look, that lines up with the third verse in Colossians. You know, uh, when it said our life is hid, you know, so they don't know who's the elect, you know, because they knew him not. They they didn't know Yahweh Shah. You know, a lot of them did, you know. But uh, verse 2 of 1 John 3, Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and we sons of the Most High through faith in the Mashiach Yahweh Shah. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, who? I mean, Yahweh Shah, when he make his second return, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Right, and um, if you read Revelation 1 and 14 on down, it'll tell you how he looked. So when he make this, make his second return, we're going to look uh, like him. So yeah, man, um, uh, you know, after that, you know, we get changed, transformed. You know, the mortal must put on immortality. Our bodies will be changed, right? We're going to get delivered, right, in, in, um, in so-called spaceships. And after that, he's going to crown no, these elect men as his joint heirs. All right, this Matthew 13 and 43, then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father, who have ears to hear, let him hear. So the Israelites will have a literal shining, you know, um, literal light shining from their bodies. All right, but on another fold, you look it up in the blue letter, it means to be uh, resplendent, resplendent. And um, resplendent, I'm gonna get the definition, uh, resplendent. It means uh, attractive and impressive through being richly colorful or sumptuous. All right, so we're going to be extremely attractive and impressive in the kingdom of our Father, man. Because we're going to get changed. We're going to be beautiful, you know. Um, I think that's Psalms 15 and 2. Um, Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, the most high have shined. So we're going to reflect the beauty of our Father and, uh, and His Son. And the women, the children, the men, all of our nations are going to be extremely beautiful. We're going to be the standard of beauty. You know, not like the so-called white people or the Edomites today. Everybody, all, the, all women, people want long, uh, leprous hair, blonde hair. You know, these women straighten their hair. They get uh, the, those different perms, the kits. They even get blonde wigs, weave, you know, uh, in their hair. To try to look like the so-called white woman, you know, and even the men may want to look like the so-called white man dressing up in his suits, trying to act like him, trying to be like him, you know, because he's he's the light bearer right now. He's Lucifer, all right. So Lucifer means light bearer. So so-called white man, everybody wants to be like him because the earth is given into his hands. He has the power and authority and rulership over the earth at this present moment. But soon, it will be given to Jacob, all right? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And we won't look the same. We will look different. And we will be way more beautiful than we are now, all right? And everybody going to want to be just like us. Everybody going to want to have their hair kinky. Everybody going to want to be in the sun so they can get a little tan to have that royal dark skin tone like our people have, you know? But anyway, let's continue. Um, that word resplendent, a uh, little bit of definition, well, a little bit of synonyms that goes, uh, you know, I'm going to just get, yeah, you know, I get that, uh, resplendent uh, synonyms. It says splendid, glowing, gorgeous, see how people are going to be gorgeous, impressive, spectacular, stunning, glorious, awe-inspiring, breathtaking, all right, we can be breathtaking to these other heathen nations, man, that's outside of the Israelites. And that word sumptuous, some synonyms for that. You know, um, I'm going to get the definition for sumptuous. It says splendid and expensive looking. <laughs> See, Jake will be looking expensive. We already, and our people already, you know, like the finer things. 
you know, in life. Um, they like expensive stuff. That's why people, the, the biggest consumers in, um, in things that's, that's uh, real costly. That's why people like the best of the best, you know. And how much more in the kingdom of heaven? So we're going to be expensive looking our palaces, you know, our, our, uh, our clothing, you know, our jewelry. You know, we're going to be, man, expensive looking. It says lavish. I'm sitting there for sumptuous. It's lavish, luxurious, extravagant, opulent. See, man, so the righteous chosen elect, you know, Israelite men will be extremely beautiful and wealthy and famous, famous royalty in the kingdom of heaven. You know, underneath Yahweh Shah, who the world calls uh, JC. So yeah, man, uh, that's all I wanted to touch on. I ain't want to make it too long. But yeah, um, again, the, the title is Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 through 4. I just want to do a little quick, uh, quick lesson. Lord willing, it was edifying. Till next time, Shalom.